to fall watching you stand Good afternoon. We want to welcome all of you here to this celebration of life service for Alicia Lauren Galupsi. I'm Christy Miller, and I had the privilege of being Alicia's aunt. And I am here to represent on behalf of the family today. Just um, we're thankful for all of you being here. We do want to let you know we will have a time of open sharing later in our program. And if there's something that you want to come up and share, we're going to invite you to come. Please try to keep it to about five minutes so that everyone has a chance. Um, but we do want you to be thinking about that and know that we'll have an opportunity to have open sharing. Alicia Lauren Gillespie, 23 years of age, passed away on Thursday, May 26, 2022. Alicia was born February 20, or excuse me, February 2nd, 1999, in Denver, Colorado. 
She attended Conyer Elementary, DeVisadero Middle School, and graduated from Mount Winnie High School in 2016. Alicia found joy in soccer, swimming, dancing, and creating art and music. Alicia attended Clovis Community College before moving to Los Angeles, California, to follow her dreams in business, modeling, and the music industry. Alicia loved the city life, helping animals, spending time with her loved ones, and for forming deep connections with anyone who came across. Throughout her journey on earth, Alicia's mind was always onto something new because she had so many goals involving her future. She was a social butterfly and made her friends and family feel incredibly loved. Anyone who knew Alicia could feel her soul's beautiful energy. Alicia had a heart of gold and always poured her heart and soul into never giving up. Alicia survived by her dad, Kevin, mom, Jenny, big sister, Brittany, little sister, Summer, stepdad, Ryan, grandparents, Barbara, Clyde, Sally, and preceded in death by Ernie. At this time, I'd like to invite um, Brittany up. She's going to share her thoughts about her sister. Hi, everyone. My name is Brittany. I'm Alicia's big sister. Alicia was my best friend and has been my every, everything since the day she was born. My sister brought me more happiness than I can put into words. We would tell each other how lucky we were to be sisters because it felt like we didn't need anyone else in the world. She was a free spirit, lived in the moment, and shamelessly marched to her own beat. Her soul radiated the deepest, purest love, a kind of love that is so rare to find on earth, and a kind of love that honestly only heaven deserves. The first thing you felt in Alicia's presence was her incredibly big heart. She gave everything she had to the people she loved. Literally any time I complimented something of hers, she would insist and insist for me to keep it instead because she wanted to make others happy over herself. Alicia's loyal heart made her the greatest family member and friend. She had so many friends. She was a motherly figure to so many, taking in her friends and making them her family. She had a special way of feeling other people's pain and wanted to help them through it. She couldn't help but stand up for what she believed in and would go any length for the people she loved. Leash felt the world so deeply but on the outside, she was the life of the party. Anytime we were with friends or family, she couldn't help but shine and make people laugh. I'm insanely, I'm insanely blessed to have been her big sister and to, been, to have been so close to my sister my whole life. Sorry, bear with me. I believe my sister was an old soul and her purpose in this lifetime was to teach. I know she wouldn't want us to feel any sadness today, but would want us to remember all of the beautiful lessons, joy, memories, and love that she gave. It's also really important for me to bring up the disease of addiction and the stigmatism that surrounds it. Addiction is a complex, misunderstood disease, and the way I see it, the addict does not choose the disease, the disease chooses the addict. I was blessed to be able to attend a lot of AA and NA meetings with my sister this year. My sister naturally always invited me everywhere with her and introduced me to every single one of her friends. So I was fortunate to also get to know all of the friends that she made in rehab. I met some of the most incredible people that I've ever met in those meetings. Listening to their stories, determination, honesty, and strength deeply touched my soul and changed me. But the proudest moment of my life was getting to watch Alicia speak and share her story at an NA meeting a few months ago. I was just so in awe of her. She spoke with so much grace and humility. And everyone in the room could feel how pow her powerful and brilliant mind. All of us have addictions or ways to escape reality somehow, but we are all one and the same. So spread as much kindness and compassion as you can 
reach out to those you know who are suffering and hold the people you love. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold the people you love very, very close. As Alicia's big sister, I always felt it was my job to be her protector. But honestly, she was so much more protective of me. I wish I could go back and protect her more and take her pain away. But we are just humans, and we can only do our best with what we have at the time. We have to trust that God has bigger plans for her, had bigger plans for her. I believe she is flying high above us right now, feeling so big and bright and embraced by heaven's unconditional love. My soul will never feel whole again until our souls are reunited, but I will take you with me every day until then, sister. Great job, Brittany. Thank you so much. Caden Miller will share a reading now. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Caden Miller, Alicia's younger cousin. This poem is called Until We Meet Again. Each morning when we awake, we know that you are gone, and no one knows the heartache as we try to carry on. Our hearts still ache with sadness, and many tears still flow. When it meant to love you, no one will ever know. Our thoughts are always with you, your place no one can fill. In life we loved you dearly, in death we love you still. There will always be a heartache and often a silent tear, but always a pe precious memory of the days when you were here. If tears can make a staircase and heartaches make a lane, we'd walk the path to heaven and bring you home again. We'd hold you close within our hearts, and there you will remain to walk with us throughout our lives until we meet again. Our family chain is broken now, and nothing will be the same. But as God, God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. I wish that I could tell you I'm not ready to let you go, but you've already departed, and my heart is feeling so low. I miss that little twinkle that used to light up your eyes. And I miss the sound of your voice, your laughter, and your sighs. But most of all, I miss the way you made me feel. Like nothing could ever harm me because your love was so strong and real. There are others here who miss you, and they've gathered here today. Your life touched so many people who became your friends along the way. They want you to know they love you too, and they're filled with sadness and grief. No one really wants to say goodbye, so we'll just wish you eternal peace. Thank you. Thank you, Kate, and great job. Summer? Hi, I'm Summer, Alicia's little sister. Um... I've spent the last week trying to comp comprehend how this could be real, and it still doesn't feel like it. All I want is to see you again, and I can't wait till I can, but everything I do is going to be for you now, Leash. While I'm still here, there's nothing more I want than to make you proud. <laughs> Alicia was the best sister I could ask for. She was the person who I knew would have my back through anything. The person who would answer my call whenever I felt alone. The person who would pick me up whenever I wanted to get out of the house. I could not have asked for a better person to love me. Alicia's love was so powerful and impacted me throughout my entire life. Words cannot explain how beautiful she was. Inside and out. Although we had arguments growing up, I never once questioned the love she had for me. I went from laughing in the car while blasting upbeat music to blasting sad music in my room alone in remembrance of you quicker than I could have ever imagined. These are the kind of moments that I will remember forever. It's moments like these that have me looking back and wishing I laughed just a little longer with you. Words could have never described the love I have for you, Alicia. 
whenever I was with you, it was like an escape from reality. It was always a good time with you because you were so enjoyable to be around. But we struggled with mental illness her entire life. But when you were with her, you would not think that she was struggling as much as she was. Because she was almost always smiling and laughing. I think that is what it is so hard for people to, around you to understand what she was really going through. She was so strong and always prioritized everyone before herself, no matter how hard life was on her. Addiction and mental illness are very often ignored, which is why I think this side of Alicia's story is so important to share, because it's something she fought on a daily basis. The things she dealt with were bigger than she could handle, but she really did try so hard. Knowing you don't have to deal with this pain anymore brings me some comfort when it comes to your death. You will always cont continue to inspire me in so many ways, Leash. I will forever love you and be grateful to have had a sister like you. I think, I know you guys want to clap, and I think both our sisters and cousins did a great job. Let's just celebrate the words that have been shared and released. <laughs> so, um, Jenny, Jenny would like to share thoughts on her daughter now. Hi. Leash, I lost my baby girl and best friend, Alicia Loren. My heart is shattered into pieces and life will never be the same. I want to hold you, but I cannot touch you. I want to feel you, but I cannot see you. I want to talk to you, but I cannot hear you. I try to find you, but you are not there. I do not want to walk this earth without you by my side. Though I know your soul is now free and you'll never have to worry or be sad again. I just can't wait to join you in heaven. I want one more chance to say goodbye. I never dreamed it would be the last time I see you. Just know this, my love for you will never die. I will live each day feeling you right by my side. I miss you. I love you, my beautiful daughter. You are at peace now. Love, Mommy. <laughs> Kevin is going to share a few thoughts with you now, too. Hi, my name is Kevin, and I had the distinct pleasure of being Alicia's dad. Uh, it's funny, when I um, first found out we were going to be parents, I was shocked that I was having girls because I was always planning on raising a boy. But once I had two beautiful daughters, I realized that God knew best, and he gave me the greatest blessing I could ever ask for because it's been a true honor. <laughs> to be the father of two incredible daughters. And this is the hardest day I've ever had to endure. And I know she's in good hands. And I just, it's such an honor to be here. And it's an honor to see all you people here. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support and love that you've expressed. Thank you. Thank you so much. So at this time, we'd like to open it up to open sharing. Um, I know, I think, Sophia, do you, do you want to start the open sharing? Okay, come on. Hon. Hi. Hold on, I have to pull it up. Okay. Never in a million years would I see myself standing here saying this. Um, I looked up to... Closer. Okay. I looked up to Alicia as an older sister figure in my life, and I always wanted to be just like her. We were so similar and related on so many different levels, which made our bond unbreakable. Um, Alicia was a part of my life since day one and has been there for so many core memories that I will forever cherish. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, Christmas in 2015, she got me this little cat to put under my pillow to keep nightmares and bad energy away, which I've slept with for seven years. That shares a really special place in my heart. She always lit up the room at any holiday, like family event, and constantly made us smile and laugh. 
I aspire to be as outgoing and photogenic as Alicia, and I'll always remember how beautiful she looked when we would do little photo shoots together. I admire how she was so down to earth and how unapologetically she was like herself. Um, something I always packed when I knew I was going to see Alicia would be fake eyelashes because I knew she was going to need a pair when we'd get ready. Every time she would use mine. Um, I'll never forget her always being on aux and playing the best music in the car on full volume while going to Nana and Papa's, the dollar store, or just to get food. She had a soft spot in her heart for animals and was overall a very spiritual soul. This makes me believe that she will forever be within me, including everyone else she loved, and will guide us through life. She was so thoughtful and was always there for me. I could always count on Lee, and I couldn't ask for a better cousin to grow up with and be loved by. I love you with my whole heart, Lee, and I would do anything to have you here just a little while longer. Anybody else? Hi, my name's Angie. I'm Alicia's aunt. Uh, we knew her as Alicia, Leash, Felicia, Lee, Leisha, and Alicia Loren. From the time you were born, you always had a spark in you, your own way of doing things. You are one of the kindest, most loving souls I have had the honor of knowing, and being able to call you my niece was a true joy, and it still is. Alicia had a rare and unique personality. Her constant bright smile was almost like she knew something maybe that we all didn't know, and she was excited and happy to reveal whatever it was so that she could share it with all of us. We're so thankful <clears throat> for all of the awesome family trips that we have taken together recently and all of the great times we spent together as a family. I cherish the memories of all of the plays you girls produced and put on for us. Your creativity was so abundant and maybe a little bit of it was inherited from Grandpa Ernie, but you definitely had a style of your own. In our human bodies and flesh, we feel like there's a knife in our chest right now and a permanent lump in our throat without you here. In time, with you and God's help, I pray that we all find ways every day to feel you, honor you, and represent and represent all of the beautiful qualities of you. You taught me a lot about deep care and concern for others. Your laugh and smile will live in me forever and all of the days of my life until we meet again. I love you, Alicia. Hi, I'm Cam. Um, I have known Alicia for years. Since we were about 12 years old, we did soccer together and we were absolutely inseparable from the moment we met. Um, I never thought that I would be here, but I feel like I've, this, <laughs> I have so many memories that I will cherish of Leash with me forever. Every memory that I have is with her. Every good one from packing our entire apartments up in a U-Haul and moving to LA in a night to moving to Fresno together and dropping out of school and just doing whatever we wanted. We lived life like there was no tomorrow. And one thing Leash taught me was, who cares? Just do it. Just move on. Do what you want to do. It's your life. And that was Leash. Leash did whatever Leash wanted. Nobody could tell Leash not to do something. And I know that for sure. She was her own person. And it was something I admired so heavily about her because I have always been in my head a little bit. And Leash completely took me out of my shell. I went through a really, really dark time a couple years ago. And 
leash was at my bed every day. Come on, Cam, get up, Cam. Let's go to the river, Cam. Let's get up. Let's go out to eat, Cam. Like, please get up, Cam. And she completely saved me from myself. She was there anytime I needed her, as she was for everyone that she knew. She was... She was there for anyone who needed her. It doesn't matter if she knew you for a week, for years, a lifetime. If she loved you, she was there. And that's something that I will carry with me forever is Leash loved me and loved everyone no matter what happened. And I'm filled with regret. And there's so many things that I wish I could have said to her. But I know she's here and she's looking at all of us right now and telling us to stop crying and to just be happy for her that she's not suffering anymore and I know addiction is hard and I've dealt with it and I feel for her and I know that she's at peace now and she doesn't have to worry about the things that we used to worry about like how are we going to pay our rent how are we going to put gas in our cars we struggled together and she is finally at peace and I cannot wait to see her again thank you Anyone else? Okay. Thank you all so much. I'm going to share a message, and then after our message, we'll enjoy. Oh, yes. No, coming up. Thank you. Hi. Um, Alicia was my good friend, little sister of my best friend growing up. Um, my grandparents lived across the street from her grandparents ever since we were kids, and that'll always be special to me, and they still do. Um, so just, I know she's here with us right now, and I'm so grateful that I got to see her a couple weeks ago, um, and I have some recent memories I'd like to share, and um, also, a couple years ago in high school, um, we had ditched <laughs> fifth and sixth period, um, and we were going <laughs> we were going down residential. You know, we went to Mount Whitney, so there's a lot of residential, and um, I was driving. I was the one driving, and um, we got pulled over by a motorcycle cop. Um, of course, and um, and so I tried to talk my way out of it. I even tried to cry, and I couldn't. Um, and I think Alicia is also trying to get me out of it too, because um, we were on our way to the SBCA. So, so why was I speeding? I think we were just too excited. We we're just too excited, and maybe we were, thought we were going to get caught or something. <laughs> And that was just a memory of me and her. And um, I remember when we were kids um, listening to 2000s R&B rap and Jenny's Purple Slug Bug. <laughs> and just driving around and getting ice cream at Thrifties. Um, I also remember going to Six Flags with Kevin and Britt and me. And um, Alicia brought a friend. We were super young, and she brought a friend that was too short to ride the rides. So a lot of the rides we couldn't ride. Um, but we still had fun regardless. Um, I'm just so lucky that I, I saw her three weeks ago. She's been in Visalia, and um, she had come to my birthday party, and um, she also went with me on some skate adventures, and um, she I tried to get her to skateboard, and she loved that. She didn't skateboard, but she was just having so much fun, just being entertained by everyone and talking to everyone. And um, then afterwards, we went to Sequoia National Park, and we rode with our friend Aaron in his nice Jeep, and we thought we were in Jurassic Park. I don't know when the last time I'd been to Sequoia National Park, and she hadn't remembered either. It was it was beautiful. We saw many waterfalls and cross bridges and streams. We had to actually cross a river to get to the spot we were going to sit at. And so she was like, this is freezing cold. Like, <laughs> um, 
And so then we had to go back, back to the car. So we had to go through the river and um, we had a great time. And then afterwards we um, decided to go see the Rawhide fireworks uh, for free. We went on the skate park side. Um, but before that we had to, we went to 7-Eleven and um, got some Slurpees and pizza. She just said, it's just a vibe. You just, you have to get Slurpees before fireworks. <laughs> it's just a vibe. So we did that, um, and and then we went to go see the fireworks, and they were beautiful. Um, there were a bunch of people there doing the same thing that we were. Um, and then afterwards, um, we decided to hang out even more, just sharing memories and talking, and um, we ran into a couple friends um, who are here today, and, and they loved Alicia as well. Um, everyone loved Alicia. She was just such a bright soul um, in high school. I mean, just so beautiful and bright and light, and um, everyone loved her. Um, and she will be missed, and I, I know she's here today. And um, I think um, Kevin, Jenny, Ryan, Summer, um, everyone, um, for bringing a beautiful, beautiful angel into this world. Um, and I got a tattoo for her, uh, my first, um, of an angel, um, a baby angel, because she was just, um, just so beautiful. Just, she was just a kid and, um, and I'll, I'll love her forever and I'll cherish the memories we had together with Alicia forever. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anybody else? Yeah, come on up. My name is Elena, and <laughs> I love the Millers. <laughs> I came into the Millers life about five years ago, business-wise, first with Jenny. We hit it off like sisters, and she's now my sister from another mister. I met the girls. <laughs> I remember Summer. She's so little. She doesn't remember the day, but when I met her, Alicia, she was with Alicia, and they they were in their off in Jenny's office, and I'm like, "Hi, girls. I'm Elena, and again, I'm a notary for your mom." And Alicia right away was like, "Oh my God! Like you're pretty. Like she's very complimentive, and you know, she's. I, she made me feel like I belonged. So I can't even talk. But what I want the Millers to know today, Summer, Brittany, I haven't really met you, but I love your mom, and Ryan, you too, Sally." And everyone that's here today, we never will know why people do what they do in life, and we can't judge, but we need to let Alicia rest in peace. We need to let Jenny know that we love her, and Jenny, I love you. I'm here for you. And the day that I found out that Alicia passed is like, I felt like I lost a daughter too. I've been hurting for the last two weeks. And if I could take this pain away from you and take my life, I gave you Alicia back. I do that for you over and over again. My daughter, Daniela, went to school with Brittany mainly, and she t I told her about what happened. She's like, Mom, Brittany, I went to school with Brittany and Alicia too, but Brittany mainly, and she knows Kevin, and she knows Brittany and Alicia, and they, pay they played an orchestra together, and she herself wanted to be here so bad, and she's like, please give them all my love, and Look at who would have known that my daughter and your daughters were good friends growing up in elementary, junior high, and high school. Thank you, thank you, Kevin. I've never met you, but thank you for being a part of my family and directly. Now we're a family, no matter what. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyone else? <laughs> okay. As I was reflecting and remembering my life shared with Alicia, 
I remember those big, beautiful eyes, the brightest smile, a child full of love and laughs, and a girl who could give the best hugs in the world. She hugged you so strong that you truly thought she would never let you go. She also had so much love for precious animals, and this was not a love that she shared with this auntie. We would talk about all her little strays and animals that she wanted, and I was like, nope, not at this auntie's house. But I loved her spirit for all the love she had for animals. But as I continued to prepare for today, Alicia was a girl who had high hopes. My hope today is that in spite of this terrible and unimaginable time, we can find hope through Jesus Christ. Our sorrow knows no depths as we consider the preciousness of life lost. We feel helpless as we have been robbed of huge pieces of our own life and the future that we looked forward to. But despite our sorrow, we pray for the strength to choose life. We choose to affirm the goodness and sacredness of the life of our loved Alicia. We acknowledge that we loved her and we won't give up in our pain. We pray that our Father will remove all traces of regret, guilt, and shame from our hearts and minds. We pray that God will give us the ability to honor the memory of Alicia, that we might celebrate her victories big and small. We can celebrate as we learn that Alicia accepted Jesus Christ in rehab. We have the promise that she has found peace. No more sorrow, no more addiction, no more worry. We stand on the promise that you, Father, were there with her and comforted her beyond our supernatural understanding. Without God, there is no hope. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. God is our strength, and he wants us to hold on to hope. Hold on to who you are. Hold on to all God has promised. I know Alicia wanted to hold on and beat this disease, but we now must hold on for her. Not because life is easy, not because any of us have it all together, but because we belong to our Heavenly Father, and because of Him, we will see her again. We think that we have had more, if we would have more information, that would help us, it would help us process what we're facing. But knowing why something happened will never fully make us agree with the answer. But it's so much more comforting to invite God's peace to just fill in the gaps of all the unknowns. It's when we decide to stop the relentless grasping for unanswerable questions that our hands are free to take hold of what he has for us next. Let's pray for the future and that over time, God will show us how we can honor this beautiful life lived. Let us lift others up and pray for healing. Let us fight for those who struggle, struggle with addiction and cannot fight for themselves. Let us encourage one another and give others those incredible hugs as Alicia gave to us. God can heal our yesterdays, strengthen us today, and brighten our tomorrows with his love and the Holy Spirit. I hope this message brings hope that we remember to love each other and build each other up as we walk side by side. I pray that we would find Jesus and give our lives to him. I love you, Alicia, and I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be your aunt. I thank you that even through this addiction, you came to know Jesus. You are in the loving arms of our precious Heavenly Father. Let us find peace and comfort in Him. There's promises and beauty in Jesus. We just have to be open to it. Even though the darkest moments are there, we can truly see the light. Through your promise, we can shine bright with you and reveal blessings to each other. Will you bow your heads and pray with me? Lord God, we thank you for your presence here today. And thank you for so many of the beautiful memories that have been shared. We know God, Alicia, is with you and she is suffering no more. We pray that you would build us up in an imaginable strength that we can go on each day living for her, living for you, and honor her beautiful memory, honor her beautiful smile, her love for life, her love for animals. She had a compassion like no others. And I pray, God, that we too could find that and give that out to others and heal our broken hearted, heal the friends that are hurting, heal her family, that all of us that have lost such a dear, special, beautiful young lady. We thank you, though, for the life that we did share and thank you for the promise of your hope. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
The family has put together um, a tribute, and so I'd like you to turn your eyes to the screen now, please. And your pain gone away, cause here I Are you more alive? Cause 
Again, on behalf of the family, we thank you so much for joining us today. Um, the family just wants to thank everybody for how the, the letters, the flowers, all the help and arrangements, all the food that has been prepared and brought in for after the service today. Ryan and Jenny would like to extend a welcome to their home at um, 174 Hemingway in Tulare. If you need that address, you can see me after the service. Um, I can give it to you again. But we thank you um, for everything. Thank you for your prayers and love. Continue to lift us up and pray for healing. Um, Jenny and Ryan will be here for a few minutes. And Kevin, if you um, can't join us after for a meal and want to just express your love. But this does conclude our service, and we thank you so much. Yeah. 
Right out the door. Straight out and to the right. But go, not the entrance, go straight. Yeah, go past where you walk in. Straight back. There. Turn right. Straight back. I know. That's what I like. It doesn't matter what I say. Jenny was like, It's a really cute little hand. Thank you.